Alright guys, so in the previous video, I already show you how to sign up using Nbot and how to buy energy. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do API binding using Nbot with Binance. Okay, so basically open your Nbot application. Then here you can go to API key. I'm going to blur my API key. I basically already done my API key. So this is what you should see right here. Currently, they have three exchanges. It has Binance. It have I think it have Huobi or something. And then it have OKEX. Okay, these are the three exchanges. So they already got the permission and the bot is actually safe, guys. So you can use any of these exchanges. In this video, I'm going to show you Binance. The process, I think, is very similar with other exchanges. So you can follow the process. Now, before you do API key or before you do API binding, make sure you go to your Binance application. And when you go to future, if you go to wallet and future, or if you click on this future tab, okay, you will have quiz. If this is your first time opening futures, Make sure you finish the quiz. All right, guys, make sure you finish the quiz, you take the quiz, and then you can do the API binding. Also, make sure you have funds inside your futures wallet. Uh, let's say you buy the USDT through peer to peer. You know, you can watch this video. I show you how to buy USDT. Uh, basically, it's in funding, right? You can basically transfer from funding to futures. If not, uh, you can transfer from spot to future press on transfer so i can transfer uh, let's choose coin here i will search for usdt so i will transfer from spot to usdm futures guys okay usdm futures this is the one the second one okay and then you can put the amount uh, basically you can put again at least hundred dollar or two hundred dollar per coin you know it's better to you know get your feet wet first understand how the bot works and then if you are confident you can go higher if you want to because you know i see a lot of newbies watching my videos i need to show you the proper steps okay once you take the quiz you done that and then you already transfer from spot to futures you should have some money in your future step okay once you have that now we're gonna do api binding so to do a BI binding, you can go to home and then here you'll see more, click on more and make sure this app is in a uh, pro mode. Okay. You can click uh, this icon uh, make sure you are in pro mode. Okay. If you don't see the settings, you are probably in the light mode. Make sure you're in the pro mode. Okay. Again, if you want to do API binding with Nbot to Binance, click on this more, scroll all the way down you will see api management click on that so here you can create an api here you can label it and bot just put and bot here and then press create api when i scroll down here you can see i already have my and bot and i have a royal cube right it doesn't really actually matters guys you know, I use Nbot for futures and Royal Q, I use it for spot. So these two are very different settings. Now, if you need a step-by-step -step guide, they actually have it also. If you click on FAQ here, and if you click on beginner's guide, you will see set up trading API, how to create API on Binance. You can click this and it tells you the steps, guys. Okay, the step is the same that I just showed you. Okay, you just basically put the name, create API, and then edit. Here you want to copy your API key. And then you can go back to Nbot. So when you click on the API key, you will see this. Okay, just paste the API key from Binance, uh, copy it, paste it to here, API key. And then you can see the secret key, you can paste the secret key as well. Now, if you see API is encrypted by AES and transmitted by asymmetric encryption when in use. So there is no need to worry about leakage 
and they cannot withdraw the money guys okay the money is safe inside binance okay once you copy your api key uh, you can see at the bottom here now this is very important okay the enable reading is basically ticked by default now spot and margin trading if you want to spot trading uh, you can try it okay i have personally never tried guys you know because i use royal key for the spot trading i i'm afraid that they might you know crash but actually i think it shouldn't be a problem because if you play different coins let's say royal queue play with coin a and then uh, and play with coin b i think they shouldn't have an issue but i never try it you can try it yourself but i actually just turn on the enable futures okay i don't take the enable spot and margin trading i just take the futures because i just use and bot for the futures so there's only two things that i take which is enable readings and enable futures okay these are the two things that are checked out for me now the access it says unrestricted okay it's less secure i think it's still safe guys don't need to worry about it and uh, you should see your secret key again paste it to there and then you can save it make sure to save it guys you know once you're done make sure you go back and save it okay go back and save it it will later ask you for confirmation it will ask you for phone number and stuff uh, make sure you put in the confirmation once done uh, you are ready for trading guys okay you are ready for trading you already done the quiz inside binance futures you already put the funds inside binance futures wallet and then thirdly you also done the api binding okay once you've done these three you can start trading with the bot you can click on trade and then go to bot after that select dcaai under futures guys because we are playing with future choose dca ai uh, dca is for manual channel oscillation i never tried before so i'm using dca ai so basically we are going to use artificial intelligence and they will do all the setting for you okay so the first thing first you got to choose the coin select symbol now my suggestion pick a coin with a big market cap and play with a safe coin first if you're a beginner because if the coin price is too volatile you know it could be more risky okay if you want to be safe try to play with a less volatile coin such as bitcoin ethereum any coin with you know top 50 or top 10 coins in the coin market cap so for example you choose ethereum for example and then the direction make sure you choose shock okay shock meaning it will open long and open short at the same time okay two direction and then leverage you know start with 20 first because if your account is still new i would suggest start with 20 leverage and then the max position i will leave it as this and everything is controlled by ai guys you don't need to set anything uh, make sure everything is turned on double opening is turned on smart covering is turned on and the parameter is cycle or you can choose single a single meaning when the bot take profit it will stop trading okay it will stop cycle meaning when the bot take profit it will open position again so it's up to you if you want to try the bot first you can choose single you know if you want to learn how the bot works you can select single you know if you are confident you can start cycle it's up to you but me i just choose cycle so here when you click the conserve they actually have three options there's conservative steady and radical if you are just getting started choose conserve guys uh, i will explain in the next video okay in a different video all the setting okay i will explain to you one by one but you know if you want to let the bot handle everything just leave the setting as it is and then you can press on back test as long as you see the daily roi is positive you are good to go just press on launch okay just press on launch it will launch as soon as possible and then you can see the running here uh, these are going to be the coins that are launched okay 
and then if you want to see your profit uh, you can see this icon right here the money back just click it and you should see the profit by tomorrow and if you want to check it manually you can go to your binance future wallet click on wallet and then select futures note down okay note down your capital your initial investment initial capital note it down somewhere so you know the difference okay the difference is your net profit okay minus the bought energy okay you will get your net profit you know i started with five zero eight dollar now my net profit is a uh, five three five so the difference is around twenty twenty seven twenty eight dollar okay but i should have uh, the profit here is the wallet balance because some of the coin are still floating loss okay once those coin take profit you know i should make in total should be the same with what they are saying here which is hundred dollar that should be my profit okay my net net profit now is the one in the margin balance the other one are still unrealized profit okay i need to wait the bot to take profit because the market is now currently against me okay i just need to wait time is the essence for profits guys just need to wait and let the bot handle everything if you want to quit the market you can just choose again one shot okay if you want to just learn about it you know again select single if you want the bot to execute the position you know to open position keep opening position choose cycle just now okay if you want to stop choose single and once the bot take profit it will stop okay guys that's how you can start uh, trading in futures with nbot again if you see you know if you see the winning rate is 100 percent, guys crazy you know as long as you keep your margin tight okay if you have proper wallet management it should be fine okay around i think 200 dollar per coin is safe because they open two position right so 100 dollar for each direction long and short if you want to be safe you know a little bit aggressive 100 dollar per coin if you want to be safe 200 per coin i only put 500 dollar guys if you want to start with 200 dollar 100 dollar is up to you okay again there is still a tiny little freeze which is liquidation of course make sure your capital is enough and don't play too much coin don't play too aggressively or else you might have high risk of getting liquidated for me so far i'm okay as long as i see all the coins i still have you know this strip liquid price okay guys it is very very safe okay so again this bot is using binance we are just using api binding and our money are not on n bot our money is on binance so it's very safe you can watch this video here 